Okay guys, it's been a while, so I saw this. I've been wanting a slider, um, but this was on sale for basically 50% off. It was usually $4.50. This was on sale for $2.23, which I guess after tax is like $2.30 something, I forget. But this is just a regular motorized slider for, you can see here, it's for um, DSLRs. Uh, it has a five pound capacity. Um, it doesn't pan track, nor does it tilt. It's just a regular slider, so you can't track objects on a table. But for basically $250 and seeing the reviews on the uh, quality of construction and the consistency and operab operability and easy use, I thought why not? I mean, we use a Serp Genie at work, which I love, but that thing is $25,000, $3,000. So this is going to be a quick unboxing. I'm just going to tinker around with it, not going to do anything in depth. Um, but hopefully I can use it for more videos. Um, this is actually a lot smaller than I thought, but I do think that it's interesting that the 8 inch was basically $100 more than the 16 inch. Alright, here we go. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Solid construction, it's just a milled piece of aluminum, and I think that's what other re uh, reviewers have been saying. It only has a 3 8 and a 3 8 and a quarter 20 mount, so you can't use two tripods to hold it, you could only use one. I don't think I'm going to be using it that much. I'm really just going to be using these rubber feet here for just tabletop moves. There are feet here that unlock. They unlock so you could position it. What I'm really looking for are uh, moves where it just pushes in and pushes out. Um, just taking advantage of the dual pixel autofocus on the R5, the R, the 5D Mark IV. This is built very well. Um, it's compact enough and it seems like it's easy enough to use. Um, this head, I think I'm just going to give this to Nancy. Switch it out now. Oh cool, it has a... Oh no, it's just a solid 3 8 It's not an adapter, so it's a real 3 8 mount. That's good to know. I'm satisfied. Okay, let's see if this works. It's like not really balanced. I have the 1635 EF2 on it, on the R5, on that top handle on the microphone. We'll see how this works. I hear it's loud. I think when I heard it resetting it was pretty loud, so. Oh, okay, there it goes. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Um, you could hear the motor going, but I think this would be cool as a distant uh, B camera for interviews. Um, maybe using a longer focal length lens, like maybe a 50 or an 85. Um, yeah, this meets all the expectations I was. I was expecting so um, yeah it's not much more quieter than a Serp Genie um, that's a pretty quiet but this isn't as loud as I thought it would be I guess people who usually buy things have very high expectations for equipment especially when they're spending a couple hundred of dollars but having worked with things like Moby, Freeflies, uh, Ari Alexas, um, JL Fisher dollies it's like I I've heard everything, and there are ways in production to get around sound. Obviously, have a dedicated sound person, and um, know when to use the right equipment for the right situation. But this is pretty awesome for two hundred twenty-five dollars.